I think the science of Shimuruba is at the very interesting crossroads of revolutionizing some of the potential aspects of cancer care. My friends, you should know that one third of the world's cancer patients go in towards palliation. It may be more, but I'm just saying one third of the patients diagnosed each year across the world will enter into palliation and life care or into terminal illnesses. Now, it is our sincere endeavor to ensure that we give a sincere attempt to try and see if we can, in holistic approaches, try and see if we can prolong life. Sometimes we cannot cure, but give a good, optimal care. And it is very, very vital in such endeavor for us to continue the research in Simmaruba, understand more synergistic mechanisms with other onco herbs, uh, other phytochemicals, and look at, is there a potential for further activating the active ingredients? So I think the journey is very interesting in the coming years for us to uncover a lot amount of understanding. And the most exciting of that which I'm been looking at is looking at the aspect of how does Simmaruba block the glycolysis pathways? How does it block the metabolic pathway yet activate the immune system in such a synergistic manner without producing toxicities? And if this kind of a, um, a formula could be developed, how do we take it to an organ-specific approach in which we optimize its dosing? I think that's what the future entails for Simmaruba.